for some reason, I don't know why, I didn't throw away any of the shopping lists. I don't know why I didn't. So when my mother came to live with me in um, 2013, um, then a while after that, she stopped doing her own shopping. And um, I kept them all. And I began to realize that they were telling a story of change over time. They say a lot about her um, and her psyche, her, her way of being. Um, and that I felt like just by silently being there, they also say something about what it is to be the person who cares for this person, the person who makes these lists like this. She, um, at the beginning, she had uh, recipes in mind and so she asked me to buy things that helped her to make things and then you see as as um, as time passes that she's not cooking anymore although she does have these very um, set things that she um, gets me to buy and it becomes incredibly repetitive um, yeah and there is there is absolutely no persuading her to deviate <laughs> Her, her relationship to me as a child was not a positive one at all. Our relationship was not remotely positive. Um, and she wasn't a part of my life at all for a long time. And then um, I, um, having not seen her for many years, I went to visit her to tell her that I was leaving London and moving to Devon. And I found her in a state that I didn't think any human being should be in. So I thought, well, regardless of the history, um, I should look after her just as another human being. The role of carer is that there's a sort of, um, the, world, the, the outer world likes to hold a stereotype of, oh, this poor person who, who needs help and this lovely person who's helping and isn't that how appreciative the person being cared for must be and how rewarding it must be to be able to help the one who is in need of care. And um, they have a, a, a stereotyped image of what it is that they like to project and place onto you. And that's the framework that I'm, I'm that doctors and nurses and consultants and all these people relate to me within that. And I find it incredibly uncomfortable because that's not the, the reality of the, of, of the relationship and that's not our day-to-day -day reality at all. This was an opportunity to actually be honest about myself. It created a space for me to be honest about my role as a carer and to um, have a platform for a piece of work that allows me to be congruent within myself. <laughs>